Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, I'm in a coffee shop right now. It might be pretty noisy. I got music playing in the background and people talking around me. Hopefully uh, you were able to hear me okay on this, but I just wanted to get this video out because uh, someone left a comment asking where the uh, targets are for Solana. So yeah, I just had a look at the Solana chart. This is trading very, very technically with a very clear cut target. So yeah, I'm just gonna get this video out as quick as I can. Hopefully you can hear me. Anyway, before I get into the details, as usual, if you're not subscribed and you wanna get notified when I release uh, new content, click subscribe, click the bell, click on all. Uh, if you don't do that and you click away, you may have a hard time finding the channel again just because it's relatively small, only around a thousand subscribers. And because of that, I'm not really prioritizing the uh, search algorithm. Also, if you want a place to trade Solana, and pretty much any of the other coins that I talk about on this channel, the link to three different exchanges are in the pinned comment and the description, and all three are offering you guys uh, some pretty good sign-up bonuses. Okay, so what I wanna show you, I'm on the weekly chart, and in the uh, previous videos I did, I had these uh, levels marked out for you, right? So just a quick recap, I don't wanna go over everything, but just to show you kind of like where we are on the chart right now, you see we have this upsloping level of support, we have three touches on this line, and then we have this downsloping level of resistance that the price has broken out of. And uh, no, more often than not, when you break a strong level of uh, resistance, the price will come back down and retest it as a support. So that retest has been successful. And uh, anyone that had these levels marked on their chart, if they were looking at it on this pullback, this would have been an amazing time to get in because we had the confluence of not only this downsloping level of resistance uh, being the potential support, but we also had this upsloping level of support in place. So right here, very, very obvious time to enter. And then whoever bought down here at around $17, $18 is basically doubled their money right now, okay? Um, now, I'd also recommend that if you're trading uh, this asset, you definitely wanna draw this horizontal uh, trend line right here at around $30.12. That is based on the uh, lows of these candle bodies right here. And in the last video, I mentioned that this could be a potential level of resistance. I'm gonna switch this to the daily time frame just to see if it was. And we got a little bit of a, a resistance right here, but we, we broke out and we came back and retested it. Now that was a daily time frame retest that held and was successful and now we're heading back up. It's possible that if we do get another pullback, for example, if Bitcoin crashes and pulls the rest of the uh, altcoins down with it, I would look to this level on the weekly time frame. Basically, we already retested it, but maybe perhaps another retest before we hit the next target up here. Um, again, that's going to be around $30, okay? So if the price does pull back, um, that's gonna be a pretty decent point to uh, maybe take a long and then you can uh, just use this $30 level as a backstop for your stop loss. Now where we're heading right now, it's going to be the next level up here based on the top of these candle bodies right here. And that level is approximately $45. So pretty good move from where we are right now at about $36. I mean, no guarantees that we're going to head up there right away. As I said, we could have a pullback, maybe on some consolidation around here and then head up. But yeah, $45 is the next target I'm looking at. And I have confluence in this zone. So you see, it again, as I mentioned, it's the top of these candle bodies. But if I take a Fibonacci uh, retracement here and I run it from the top down to the bottom, that's gonna give me these projection levels that are gonna serve as resistances, right? So the first level is the 3A2 uh, right here. And that's probably one of the reasons, in addition to the price action, why we got such a strong sell-off at, um, at this level right here. Strong sell-off all the way back down to the support level that I mentioned. Uh, we just broke through it. But now, uh, look how perfectly the 50% retracement lines up with the horizontal line that I just mentioned right at the top of these candle bodies, right? So again, this is what we call confluence. It's gonna make this level that much stronger, that much harder to get through, right? So there's people that trade based on fibs. There's people that trade based on uh, price action. And then all those people, it's just gonna be more people looking at this particular level. So again, $45, I anticipate a lot of selling pressure to come in right here. Um, whether or not you wanna take that short is up to you. If you do wanna take that short, keep in mind that uh, we are heading up after a long downtrend. This is basically flip bullish right now. We're putting in higher highs and higher lows. So taking shorts is risky. So if you wanna take a short, it's fine, it's not a bad play, just make sure you get a good r and &R, and also just place your stop loss. Personally, I'm not telling you what to do actually, not financial advice. If I was to enter at this uh, $45 range, I would place my stop loss slightly above this previous wick and above this 50% Fibonacci. And then I would even, you know what, it's hard to, to pick a target on this. It can come all the way back down to retest the support zone if we do get a, uh, a lot of sellers coming here. Um, but you know what, I would probably just 
you know, if the price is selling off, I would gradually just move my stop loss further and further down. So if the price does run up on me, I get stopped out either at a break even or in a slight profit. And then obviously if the price does make it all the way, all the way down here, this is where I will exit the position and pull profits, right? So that's gonna be a pretty good r and and good profits off that short if it does play out all the way back down to this uh, support level. Okay, beyond that, um, it, I mean, it's possible that we blow right through here. I highly doubt it though. I think this is gonna be a strong level of contention, but if we do break it, the next level that I'm gonna look to um, is gonna be this range, okay? So this is what I call the golden pocket. It's between the 618 and the 65%. And uh, we also have confluence with the price on this one as well. So, you know, if I was in a long up here, I would definitely start pulling profits slightly before the 618, because again, a lot of selling pressure is likely to come in right here. But beyond that, it's very possible that maybe we get a wick up to the 65, which would coincide with the low, the candle body lows of uh, this drop right here, okay? So we have confluence with the price and the fib pull to this golden pocket zone. Again, a lot of people are gonna look to uh, short or take profits around this level. Beyond that, the uh, 786, and that's gonna be around $122. This, again, I have a range from the 786 here up to the top of these candle bodies. So maybe you wanna replicate this on your chart, just draw like a, a rectangle box, and this range is between 122 and $139. And this golden pocket range is between um, $68, $68.50 and $76.90, so about $77. So yeah, these are the nearby ranges. Um, possible to get a pull back to here, maybe a bounce off and head up here. But ultimately, I think the next stop in this journey is eventually going to be right up here. I mean, it just wouldn't even look right if we just sell off right down here and then come all the way back down. I think this is going to be almost like, like a magnet, this uh, $45 range for Solana. And uh, yeah, when it comes up here, maybe just look for some bearish divergences on the oscillator. Look for uh, maybe bearish candle formations to decide whether or not you want to enter a short position with a very uh, tight stop loss and a conservative take profit target. Um, anyway, yeah, I just want to get this video out quick to you guys, show you the levels. This is Solana on the weekly time frame. Um, I just actually, you know what? I just want to check something here. Uh, no bearish divergence on this. Let's see the uh, the daily time frame, just to see if the trend is uh, weakening at all. And no, it looks good to me. So yeah, everything looks good on Solana so far. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, once again, uh, click the subscribe button, click the bell, click on all if you want to get notified when I release new content. And uh, the links to uh, exchanges are in the pinned comment and the description. Check them out and see what kind of bonuses you can get. All right, guys, take care. Have a good day. Bye.